Hi, everybody. Um, well, I want to continue to spend time talking about this cold change in our weather flow that basically starts to feed off of cold air coming straight out of the Gulf of Alaska with a cold front that's now timing out to arrive this coming Sunday afternoon. And here's the deal. There's another weather system midweek next week that's actually a bit of a warm push. But then there's potentially even a colder system than Sunday's that comes in Friday, March 1st, which is what this graphic illustrates. So this is the cold front coming in Sunday afternoon. Notice the um, the blue contour line. That's the 540, then the 546, 543, 546 contours of upper pressure, 18,000 feet. That's basically the jet stream flying right into us, pulling this cold air in from the Gulf of Alaska. As I mentioned, there's a bit of a warm push that shows up on some of the modeling Tuesday into Wednesday, mainly Wednesday of next week. But then Friday, which is March 1st, in like a lion, perhaps, roar, right? As the old saying goes, it's even colder. Look at the pressure height with this trough. Now, this is the European model. Both of these are. And honestly, it's tough for me to believe as a forecaster that this number is not too cold. I mean, a, an upper trough of 519 millibars March 1st with an upper level low offshore of 510 millibars would be just off the charts cold. Not saying it can't happen and not saying perhaps that the, the storm on March 1st maybe will be colder than what we get Friday. But boy, it's hard to believe this is so cold. This is the polar jet. See the blue contour all the way down to Northern California. So if that's the case, we would definitely be watching and tracking low snow levels this coming Sunday night, Monday into Tuesday morning. And then low to even lower snow levels, perhaps on Friday, March 1st into Friday night into Saturday, March 2nd. Big time snows, both events over the coast range that impacts travel. Big time snows, obviously, over the Cascades. We'll be watching the possibility of some snow into the gorge, especially at night and early morning. And especially at night, early morning, we'll be watching the chance of some snow at pretty low elevations into the valley. OK, so the table is set. This has been very consistent on the modeling. It's been showing up for quite some time. So these are the headlines I put together for the Sunday storm coming in, this coming Sunday to Monday. So the front comes in Sunday afternoon. Let me, as I often do, let me get my notes. I'm not in the speaking. So Sunday afternoon, I mean, the snow level starts fairly high. And then by right behind the front, a sharp drop to 4,000 feet. That's accumulating snow by early evening over the Cascades. And then by Monday morning, we've got snow levels down I mean, if, you, if I just look at the indices I'm looking at here, and this would be the American GFS and the European models, both agreeing, we'd have accumulating snow Monday morning, potentially down to 500 feet. That would impact a lot of the higher elevations around the metro. That would impact Hood River out in the gorge. Um, my, my notes in general, this is for Sunday into Monday, are this. Full confidence will have snow below 1,200 feet. That's my way of saying this is definitely good snow at 1,200 feet a real good chance of a thousand feet. And I just mentioned maybe even down to 500. So we're watching this carefully Sunday night into Monday morning. Mount Hood snow, what picks up Sunday afternoon through Tuesday, 20 to 36 inches. Computer models agree with me, by the way. Wow. Coast rain snow, a foot plus. That's big time travel issues. Remember how low the snow level is going to go. Valley rain over an inch. Not sure how much, but over an inch. Watching the chance of some Snow or at least snow flirtations of low snow levels and a cold air mass. Gusty west winds, of course, we talked about this yesterday, make it more difficult to get snow down at the at the lowest elevations. OK, so I'm going to come back to all of that in a moment. Right now, I do want to touch on the fact I mean, I'm, I'm putting this together for you. It's in the afternoon on this Tuesday. And really, we've had some showers around since the noon hour, but it's been pretty quiet, at least at the time of recording this. Um, I do want to show you, this is 4 p.m. today. This is the radar, future radar moving forward from the National Blended Model. And what I want to point out is, is that the majority of models, here we are, this would be 10 o'clock this evening. Most of the models show increasing rain this evening, raining more minutes than not overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Here's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning in green. That's pretty rainy up and down the I-5 corridor. Then by the time we get to late morning tomorrow, we're starting to break it into uh, showers. So, you know, maybe we pick up a quarter, three tenths, four tenths of an inch of rainfall here in the valley and at the coast uh, this evening into early tomorrow morning. Now, if that comes true, I think it's all rain out in the gorge. Cascade snow levels will be 4,000 feet to maybe as low as 
3,000 to 3,500. So if what I just showed you is true and you have plans to drive over the Cascade Passes first thing tomorrow morning on Wednesday, check conditions because I'm telling you there's a good chance there are going to be some decent snow over those passes. Maybe, I mean, it could be, if you do the math, four inches, four or five. I don't know if it's going to be six, but we'll, we'll, we'll check Cascade Passes in the mornings. That's really what I wanted to show you. It still looks like the showers will taper off Wednesday night, and then we go into that nice run of very warm weather Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I still have have uh, 61 on Friday, by the way. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? Uh, okay, let's get back to the snow. Remember I showed you 20, 34 plus inches of snow in the Cascades through Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening. This is the European model right there, Mount Hood, through Tuesday at, um, this will be Sunday through Tuesday at 4 p.m., 33 inches. Heavy snow up and down the Washington, Oregon Cascades. Out in the Blue Mountains, this shows five, six, seven, eight inch amounts. And if you look down here in the legend colors, there could be some 12 inch amounts in the blues. So that's difficult travel on I-84, for example, between, um, you know, Pilton and LeGrand um, going into, especially Monday morning and then uh, during the day, Monday, Monday night into Tuesday. This also shows there's seven inches in the coast range, but look at the bullseye. And if you come down here to the legend, that's a potential foot of snow over parts of the coast range. Now this Model, it's a, it's a mathematical equation, right? The model is computing things. So it shows those potential low indice numbers that I mentioned a moment ago. And that's why it's showing in gray the chance of some light snow almost anywhere and everywhere. Again, it's a west wind. I don't think that's favorable at this point, but we're not ruling it out, okay? Now, I, I want to play this forward. Remember, we have that strong system coming in Friday, March 1st. And this will go through, let's, let's go into Saturday, shall we? Here's Saturday, March 2nd. Oh my goodness gracious. If that March 1st system is as strong or stronger than the one we're going to get this coming Sunday, then these amounts would double up. And that's believable. Could there be 59, 60 inches of snow in the Cascades? That would take our 70 some percent of normal snowpack and probably get it all the way up to about 100% of normal. Wouldn't that be something? Wow. And it now, this does show that the coast range amounts don't go up that much. So that's interesting. Again, with west winds, the snow level for elevations below 2,000 anyway gets a little more difficult. Um, but, but, oh, wait a minute. You know why I just misspoke? I just misspoke. Pardon me. What this is color coding, and I'm sure some of you noticed it, is the valley. This shows five, six inches in the Willamette Valley. I'm not ready to go there yet. But really what I wanted to show you here is the Cascades and the fact that the Coast Range is likely going to have some decent amounts as well. So let's get off of that because I don't want you to overly focus on anything other than hefty amounts in the Cascades, difficult travel much of next week on the Coast Range as well. All right, what are temperatures doing? And then um, I'm going to get out of here. But this is um, Tuesday afternoon. This coming, I'm excuse me, this is Monday at 4 p.m. This coming Monday. Cold front comes in Sunday afternoon and then Monday uh, the 26th at 4 p.m. Shows low 40s. I've got us at 42. So that's about what I'm showing up and down the valley. Above freezing out in the gorge. And then I just want to show you what, what the modeling. This is the European model. This is Tuesday morning above freezing. 36, 37. It's about what I'm showing. Freezing out in the gorge though. This is true. There would be some snow showers and probably accumulation in the gorge Monday overnight, Tuesday morning. Um, and then I just want to play this. Well, let's go into, yeah, let's, let's play this into a Saturday morning. This is Saturday morning, March 2nd. This is showing freezing temps in the valley. If that's true, even with the westerly flow, we'd have the chance for some snow. Wow. 20s out in the gorge. That's big time accumulating snow. Lots to keep an eye on. Lots to keep an eye on. All right. With that said, I, I, right now it's all about grabbing your attention, right? To keep updated on what the forecast is with the front coming in Sunday. The cold air here in Monday into Tuesday. The Nick system that could even be colder on Friday, March 1st into that first weekend of March. Wow. All right. Uh, 48 in Cascade Locks. By the way, this is noteworthy. Indian Creek Golf Course. This is the first time in, I think, about a week there's been no snow on the ground. So they finally melted the snow in Hood River. How about that? I want to show you the forecast. Uh, so we've got similar day tomorrow. Showers around. Again, maybe the rainy start breaking into showers. 48 out in the gorge. This is um, the West Gorge forecast, Cascade Lock Stevenson. And then we get dry. We've got mid-50s Friday, Saturday, really nice. And then here comes the rain. This shows a high in the West Gorge, Monday of 40. Overnight lows near freezing. 
Tuesday, near freezing, a rain-snow mix, and temperatures will be even colder. Well, let's go ahead and click on Hood River and double down. Well, I don't know. This shows Hood River maybe around 40 Monday, Tuesday. That might be too warm. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, 53 up in Seattle right now. These are current temperatures. Um, not as, well, I don't know. The, the high is going to be 54 at most, it looks like, in Portland today, which would equal yesterday. Maybe it's going to be a little bit cooler. We haven't opened up the sun that we had yesterday. Uh, let's stick with our, our theme of uh, looking at the warm days ahead. By the way, 29 in the morning, Central Oregon, at least a chance that there's some light snow on the ground. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 50s, warm, great. Sunday, still dry. The front comes into Central Oregon. Sunday overnight into Monday. And there is uh, Monday morning snow. It's going to be some Tuesday morning snow. This shows temps above freezing Monday, Tuesday. We'll keep an eye on that. It's pretty cold, pretty cold air. No, no doubt about that. And then here is the seven-day forecast. All right. Um, so tomorrow, early rain. Remember, the rain picks up this evening, overnight, and early tomorrow morning, and then showers scatter in the afternoon, 54, kind of where we've been for highs. And then we get that run of really nice weather, Thursday, 58, Friday, 61, Saturday, some increasing cloud cover, but still a nice day, 57. Monday or Sunday right now looks like it's dry and you get up, and then rain develops going into the afternoon. The front comes in around four right now. And then I've got 36 to 42 and 35 to 43 with odds favoring Above freezing at sea level on the Willamette Valley floor, Portland, with it being rain, but maybe a snow mix in the air. Again, lots of things could change. For now, that is your update. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Now's a great time because you'll get my notifications that I've posted as we track this winter weather upcoming next week, maybe several rounds of it, right? Um, my weather site's portlandweather.com. I'm Rod Hill, and I say thank you.